Hi, Village Church family. I am standing outside of our church on our property back here, our absolutely gorgeous property back here on a beautiful Monday. And uh, I hope you are getting a chance to enjoy this beautiful weather. It has just been gorgeous as we head into summer. Well, I am eagerly anticipating and waiting for the return where we can gather in person again on June 14th. I'm looking forward to that time. And as we look forward to that Sunday, I want to share with you seven things that I want us to know as a church family as we gather again. Number one, because we are going to have limited capacity, seating capacity in our sanctuary, we're able to have 75 people at a time in there. Well, we're going to ask that you sign up beforehand, indicating what service that you're going to be coming to. And so in an email that we have sent out to the church family, there is a link that you can go to. And there's an opportunity to sign up not only for June 14th, but but for uh, Sunday services over the next five weeks. And and by the way, if you sign up for the 9 a.m. service on the 14th, you're not committed to that same service. You can you can switch services around in the upcoming weeks. Maybe you want to go to the 11 o'clock service and, and see other people that are in those services. But we are asking that you do sign up. And by the way, if those two services fill up, then we will look at adding an additional service. The second thing I want to share with you is that uh, during this time as we gather together, we're going to be highly encouraging each other to wear masks. And uh, this is really for the safety and and the care of all of us who gather together. I I know we have different opinions about the whole mask issue, but as people come into our building, as we gather together, both people in the church family and then hopefully people who are guests, people who will be joining us for the first time, we just, we want to be sensitive to everyone. This is a way that we will love and care for everyone well as we gather. Number three, you know, as we gather together, my desire is that I could just hug every person that comes back in. But I also recognize that during the season, that's probably not the wisest thing to do. And so as we do gather again as a church family, my, my heart is that we're going to be a welcoming family, that we're, we're going we're gonna to welcome each other with, with our expressions and our words and just our presence. But during this time, I'm just going to ask that we refrain from handshakes and hugs. And and we'll look forward to a future time in which we can fully embrace each other. Number four, one of the most significant things about gathering as a church family is is being able to corporately worship our Lord through song. Uh, We are going to do that when we gather on June 14th. But we also want to let you know that health officials had said that that singing may be a higher risk activity when it comes to the spread of the coronavirus. And so we're we're going to take extra caution in this area. We're going to create significant space between the worship team and the congregation. We're also going to be asking that we will continue to wear our mask during that time. And, uh, you know, worship is a, a reflection of our hearts. Uh, but it's also an opportunity for us to hear each other. We know that's going to be a little bit of a challenge with having the mask, but we're just going to ask that we do that, that that one of the ways that we're going to worship God is is the way that we care for each other during this time. Uh, Number five, right now during this season, we're not going to be offering nursery or child care. And so as families come in, we just want you to be aware of that. And we're going to be providing opportunities in the commons and the foyers for parents to be able to take babies who might need to have some time out of the service or even some kids who just need to take some time out of the service. And then number six, if you're not able to come on Sunday morning, we want you to know that we're going to still make our services available online. Now, they may not be immediately immediately available like they have been on Sunday mornings because we're going to be recording that service and and then we're going to try as quickly as we can put that up online. So it'll probably be available later in the afternoon. But we want to let you know that if you're not able to come, the service will still be available. And then finally, number seven. Uh, Our our desire as we gather is the protection and the care of our church family and everyone that gathers with us. And so if you're sick, uh, we just ask that you would stay home. And, and we're, we're going to be praying for you. Please let us know if you're sick so we can be praying for you. And, and we, we'll, we will look forward to seeing when we can see you again soon. But we do ask that right now that you, you would stay home. And that if you're in an age group that is particularly vulnerable to the coronavirus, we just ask that you would just take extra caution as you consider gathering with us, gathering with us on a Sunday morning. Oh, church family, how I have longed, how I longed, how I have longed for us to be back together 
and looking forward to the opportunity to do that on June 14th. We know this is going to be a little different, uh, but, but we know that we get the opportunities to adjust and be flexible and, and we're going to work through these things as the body of Christ together. Would you be praying with me over these next couple weeks as we lead up to this service? Just, just praying that God would prepare our hearts to come in as worshipers. Prepare that God would give us hearts that we welcome each other well. And as we work through some of these different challenges, that we would be a, a church family that would be quick to give grace and mercy and patience with each other. We'll be sharing more updates uh, throughout these uh, next few days, but I just wanted to get these seven things out to you. Enjoy this beautiful weather, and we'll see you soon.